Welcome to I Can, I Am, I Will, the world's number one podcast for confidence and self-empowerment. Today, we are going to continue our conversation from yesterday, discussing how this podcast is crafted to help you build your confidence. I'm also going to give some background into who I am so you can know a little bit about the person behind the voice. <laughs> My name is Lindsay. I'm a confidence and self-empowerment coach. And here together, we are building your confidence and self-empowerment. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. You can also find transcripts of episodes on my website at canandwill.com. You can also email me at canandwill at gmail.com. I would love to hear from you if you have any questions, comments, uh, concerns. (laughs) (laughs) If you have any suggestions for future podcasts, I would love to hear what you have to say. So do it, do it, do it. (laughs) Yesterday, I talked about how a friend suggested I do a podcast that I didn't know what podcast I would do. And then I came up with the idea of doing a podcast on confidence and self-empowerment when people in a writing group said that I was empowering them with my writing. And I realized that of all the things that I've done in the past like decade of working on myself and being the best person I can be and working on my self-empowerment, that at the base of that was confidence and self-empowerment. So when I first started working on myself, it was because I was feeling kind of not so great and my relationships weren't going the way that I would like. I wasn't finding strong connections and things weren't really going how I planned. So work, the work aspect was great. I was a workaholic, but that was really it. I worked a lot and then I drank after work and that was really like my life. I didn't, I worked out, but I didn't really have any hobbies. And it's funny too, because I started working out to feel better and working out felt good for a while, but then it just ended up that I felt as stuck as I previously did, but my pants fit better. (laughs) Same thing with like meditation. I did meditation, yoga, journaling, all of it. Like anything that someone suggested, I would try. I even like eating healthier. I eat blueberries every day and I still do this stuff now. However, I felt that that stuff wasn't a lifelong lasting solution. So I worked on doing more and I read a lot. And I realized, wow, like I started building my confidence. I realized that I was putting so much pressure on relationships because I was people pleasing and I was trying to other, to please other people. I wasn't thinking about myself and my relationships were not working out because I was so focused on pleasing other people that I wasn't thinking, is this relationship even good for me? And I was also pushing people away because, and I'm not proud to say this, But I was acting kind of desperate, not like stalker or like extreme that you see in like movies and stuff. But I was definitely uh, rearranging my schedule, putting myself second to like people I just met, trying to make sure I was like super available for everyone all the time. It was not healthy. It was not good for me or my mental state. And what I found out was that I needed to start focusing on myself and my confidence and feeling empowered just my self-worth really knowing that first of all, that I deserve to have healthy relationships and my self-worth, all of this, I started working on that. And then everything else started to fall into place because I wasn't focused on other people. I was focused on being the best version of me that I could be. I was focused on not controlling the things that I couldn't control. And then I started attracting people that would say like, Hey, I love your energy or Hey, I love your attitude Or, hey, like, you seem like a great person. Let's have a drink. I'm like, sure. (laughs) And in that time, I did have people tell me, multiple people tell me that people that I've known, they would tell me, hey, you seem different, but in a good way. My friend's parents actually said, Lindsay, Lindsay changed. I really like it. Not that I was bad before. I just wasn't as open to other people before because I wasn't as open and accepting of myself. How could I be open to other people if I couldn't even be open to who I was internally? 
And that's really how this all came to be. So I focused on all of that. And then I started working with other people. Sometimes I would work with other people not even knowing. I had a friend, she called me up and she said, I got a promotion at work. She got a raise. And I get super excited to see people succeed. I just genuinely love seeing other people succeed. I think it's wonderful. It makes me really happy. And then if I ever feel like a twinge of jealousy, I wonder like, hmm, do I want what they have? (laughs) And then if I do, I work on it. But I do. I genuinely love seeing other people succeed, seeing them happy. It makes me happy. So my friend calls me up and she goes, I got an increase. uh, I got a pay raise. I said, that's awesome. She goes, do you know how I did it? And I said, no, how did you do it? And she said, I did it from watching you. And that is the first time that I told that story without crying. I'm surprised because usually it would make me cry because in that moment it did like, I, I didn't want to cry with her on the phone because at that point I was still working on being like emotionally available to people. So I told her I had to go. Um, but yeah, I cried after we had that phone call because she told me that she got her promotion from watching me and how I operate at work, and how I'm continually fighting to get what I deserve. And that instilled something in her, and that she went and did, she mirrored what she was seeing me doing, and she got a raise. And it made me feel so good that I contributed to that. Other times I would go on Reddit and give advice to people. I love doing that. There was this woman And she asked a question and she was getting a lot of like generic advice. So I gave her some advice that I thought would help her. And I remember I came home from work and that day at work, like it was fine. It was just a whatever day, but I came home from work and I opened up my Reddit app and there was a response from her. And she said that my advice really helped her out. She was nervous about going to a party and I gave her advice and she said that my advice really helped her out. And she went from being nervous, <laughs> uh, like trying not to cry. Uh, she went from being nervous to being excited. And I just thought of this person, of this woman who reminded me of myself and that she went from being nervous to go to a party, which is what I used to be, to being excited just for me helping her to reframe her mindset. And I felt fulfilled. It felt so fulfilling for me to do that. Because I just genuinely like seeing other people happy. It makes me feel happy. I like that energy. I love when I see someone who is their true self, their true being. And they're, be- they're honoring themselves that they, they know that they have value and that they have worth. And they're not putting themselves down. I love to see that. And I want to help other people do that. And sometimes we get lucky. Sorry, I'm like wiping away tears. <laughs> sometimes we get lucky. And we'll find people who believe in us. I have a carving behind me from an attorney I used to work with who believed in me. He was one of the first people who believed in me when I did not believe in myself. And he told me I was smart. He told me so many times that I finally just was like, fine, okay, I'll accept it. Cause he just would not stop telling me that I was smart. It was so annoying. And finally he like, he forced me to stop seeing myself in a negative way. He forced me to stop putting myself down. And that's what I want to do with you here because sometimes we are not that fortunate or sometimes we are just so stuck in the negativity that we don't appreciate people that give us positive feedback or sometimes people will not fight like the attorney Luke did for me and he kept just drilling it in. And sometimes we don't have that. So I want you to have that. And that's what I'm doing here. That's why I'm telling you that you can, you are, you will. Sometimes people laugh at affirmations and think they're silly. They are definitely not silly. They work and I know they work because they changed my life. And that's why I tell you I can, I am, I will. You can, you are, you will. Because I want you to know that and to get to know that we repeat it. That's why I'm doing this 100 podcasts in 100 days. I want to show you that someone will show up for you. Someone does believe in you and someone who knows that you have value and that you have worth, even if you don't see it in yourself. And you may be thinking like, how does she know that I have value and worth? She doesn't even know who I am. 
It's because I can relate to you. If you want to build your confidence and you want to feel empowered and you want to feel happy and just develop yourself and live a happy and fulfilling life, then like you and I are very similar because that is what I want to do too. And that's why I want to help you. And that's why I know that you're deserving because I didn't think that I was. I didn't think that I could. And someone saw something positively in me and then I found it in myself and I want to help you find that too. Because when you are empowered and you are confident and you are living authentically, then you are going to change the world. We are going to change it together. And I know that that can sound like a lofty goal, goal, But it's not because when you're empowered, then other people around you will be empowered just like my friend was. And we're going to be helping other people. And then we're going to have a society of people who are living more towards their natural, authentic self. We're going to feel happy and fulfilled. With that, we are going to end with our I affirming statements. You can say them with me. You cannot. You can do whatever you want. Are you ready? I can. I am, I will have a good day.